Welcome one and all. Uh, I know this is the game you've long been anticipating, so without further ado, let's begin. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. Second, I'm gonna uh, fix one last thing here. blessed with an extensive curricula and facility. Now let me start over. Let me start over. Uh, got some technical snafus to work through here. Owing to this being my first time playing the game. Welcome back! Today we play a long anticipated game. I know you've all been looking forward to this one. Uh, so without further ado, let us begin. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. Hyoko. Osaka Yoko Tosaka is fine. Bountiful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. say, the school is known for one thing in particular. The school is 
greatest Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to see Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds from different backgrounds and species. I am often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota! Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Yoko. Overslept? since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know might take you up on that offer in starvation moves. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, well, already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Keepers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along to the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. Term 1. Ryuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation and many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Er, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. Sir, wake up. It's homework. He sleeps with his eyes open? He's a famously soporific math professor. That is, he gets tired quite often. I heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. a bit warm in here. Which reminds me, we can have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shiragana. What's the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I... Guess that's that. Hey, hey, that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. K 
can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shiragane? Shiragane Rebel Sakya. Seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakua. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up. But then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already! Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any bird here. Just my imagination. Or not. The warning dove stands in the dark corner, staring in my direction. Warning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Did you want something for me? him without looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything to do with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk, as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. These were a little too dense, and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Toksaka Hyoko, a sophomore. What about you? You're... Nageki. Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. Fudishiro Nageki. Oh. Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove. But he seems a little sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that? You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakya. What sort of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years. My brother. You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just... I guess even if we're in the same school now, What's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, 
Sasakaki Yuya. Is Saki his brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakya's? I, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Ah, no sweat. I tried to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. This fantail pigeon is Sakasaki Uya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody, every birdie, knows of him. You're Yoko, right? How? How did you... I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did, did you say you are a friend of Sakya's? Not exactly. We had a rather holistic introduction this morning. We are in the same class, that's all. I've never thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe is your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. What? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, wannabe. How do you... I've never heard anything like that about you yet, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryuta? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryuta did always have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. Nobody's here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody, no birdie here. Ryuta? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around in the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethyl par benzene? What do these even do? I care to find out. Doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want, huh? <laughs> no, thank you. This partridge is Iwamani Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person has a bad reputation among the student body. Every birdie knows that even talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, cytokosis, or even worse. And I never heard him come in the door. A ninja doctor? You don't look like young Goodreader. 
reason to be here. Did you need something? Well, I heard Ryuta. Clara from 2 3 was supposed to be here. <laughs> He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. How are we going now? Ah, finally, out of that den of evil. Ryota's gone home already. What do I do now? Never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Isn't there another one? Uh, anyway, let's start with the track team. I ran in middle school. It's always funny watching the birds hop around. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. Why don't we say having a tantrum outside? Coo! Coo! It's no pudding for man! Okasan rejects it's a lie of vicious falsification! He's dancing around on a squashed, squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. This. This Oko-san, he doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think? Either way, he's hyper. Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Oko-san instructed that pudding be provided be for new members. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store blood pudding. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Spared the jest, young lady. Okasan used wing attack. <laughs> it's super effective. They'll rue the day they crossed Okasan. They'll have him flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Okosan must now train to treat true pudding! Farewell! And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. <laughs> the class council today. As you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, you're free to go home after school. Okasan has time only for track. That's good. What about you, Shiragana? Coolest question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. No, just no. Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Track team or library staff. Let's spend some time in the library. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Let's attend. Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual, but quite
this was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. Yoko leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. <laughs> I'm on receptionist duty today. Better hurry. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem to be very popular. Not enough books? It's on the fifth floor, though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here, twiddling my thumbs, is bad for me. I wish... I wish someone would come ask me something. There's no birdie here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. Ah, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. Planning to jump off the building. The window there is rather good for that. This receptionist. Nagaki, when, when did you... I've been here all along. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes, is that a problem? Um, hmm. Books are nice. If he really enjoys books, I suppose this is a good place for him. Why don't you join the library staff, Nagaki? You could read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> you shouldn't Slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. To whom should I talk? Talk to? So, we have our friend, um, we have the aristocrat, we have the athlete, and we have the teacher. To whom shall we talk today? Well, let's talk to our friend. Ryota, let's eat together. Sure, great view, huh? That's your lunch, Yoko. Yep, it's a calorie big me. That's a, it's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. A great man once said, it's the ambrosia of the gods. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share mine. Really? Wow, thanks, Ryota. What a nice pigeon. And so I got to eat half of Ryota's lunch. His cooking is so good. We can say.
save the calorie M-E in case of a survival situation. Good times. Today is an elective day. What should I do? I'm not getting this at all. Hmm. Maybe you should review the basics and move forward to Saka. Yes, sir. Wisdom increase by five. I imagine you're all aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryuta? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Hokka-san will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. I do have a lot of stamina, Hokka-san. What about you, Sakya? did make up my mind. What should I do? Go. Um, let's check in. The Nagaki. Hey, it's practically summer already. It's too hot. I think I'll rust in the library. Ah. Much better. It's nice the AC is on, but do we really need it? No birdies in here today. It's not on. It's you, Nagaki. It's you, Miss Tosaka. Wow, he called me by my name. They don't turn on the air conditioning until June. It just feels cold compared to outside. Oh, is that it? It would be a little strange to start spending money to cool a barely used library in May. Anyway, Aren't you going to participate in the festival, Nagaki? Aren't you? Aren't you? Uh, I don't like it outside. So I stay in here. That's all. Huh, I see. Uh, 
why are you sitting next to me? Do you mind? Not really. Hmm. Listen, our class president got duped into being a cheerleader and... Sorry. No. Keep going. And so, I spent the day telling him about the festival and whatnot while he read. I don't know how much he was listening to me, but he didn't seem to mind, I think. The first barrier for all students who made it this far, the midterm exam. Getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. Tasaka. Yes! You worked hard. Keep going like that, and you'll do just fine. One day, surpass me. I'd love to see that. <laughs> I guess I did pretty well after all. And Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me too. Yay! Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. Do during break. Let's go. Let's go to the store. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. Never really looked around there before. Wow. I've got all sorts of things for sale. Though, these nest building materials look like what you find in a human store's trash. I found Chubb before me. I just set a doll already. Yuya! No, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. That may be so. But, you know, we doves reach sexual immaturity within a year. We do. That seems a bit hasty. And that aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. My... Uh, what? Yuya, that word not that... Not good now. Oh well, I'll have to try again later. How he talks to every girl he meets. I think that's a little rude, Yuya. What is? It's sort of loose talk, like in a game or something. You know, that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. I'm surprised. Thank you, Mumi. I'll carry this warning. My pigeon hopped forever. Adieu. Today's an elective day. What should I do? I always find myself wondering what the math we learned is good for. Who? And now we can draw a line perpendicular to. Is this math class or nap time? Wisdom increased by five. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I will go make a wish. Wow! There are a 
lots here already. Any birdie I know? My mother stay healthy this year. And may my stomach get better. Yetta. Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, one of me. You. Morning conference on 10th. Leave 30 minutes early. By another alarm clock, may I make up on time. What should I wish for? artist whose work is known the world over. Oh, hello, is that you, Tosaka? Mr. Nanaki? You should be careful. Out this late, it can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... Yes, please. Alright. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but eventually we arrived. Your house is very rustic. Tosanka. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. It looks a little sad. And sir, see you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left, a somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Calculus and hopeless in life. Hmm. What to say? It might never help you at all, Tosaka. But when you study things that help you, it's tiresome. Think of it as an educational candy. Integral calculus is educational candy? I am not prepared to accept this. Increased by five. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Tosaka, sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success! Today's the last day. It's already been a semester. Sometimes it seemed long, and sometimes it seemed short. But either way, it's summer now. I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There will be a lot of students coming in to borrow their summer reading pretty soon. Today is the closing ceremony, so there are even fewer birds in here than usual. Am I the only one? Well, that just makes my job easier. But I'm probably not alone. 
I've seen this situation before. Nagaki? No reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nagat? Please be quiet in the library. Hello. You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? No. I was just wondering if you were here. Of course, I'm always here. He replies from his corner in a somewhat annoyed tone of voice. Oh, the book he's holding. That's assigned reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. It forces its safe, ethical viewpoint on the reader. Like all assigned reading. The whole concept is inane. Why force anyone to read the same books? It is pretty boring most of the time. What do you like to read? Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I, I, I was wondering what to read next. Oh, so you want me to recommend something? He nods. What about... What about Night on the Galactic Railroad? I liked it. Too stereotypical. Oh, sorry. You've already read it, I imagine. Yes. Though, I liked it too. And so, I spent the afternoon working in the library, occasionally exchanging a word with Nagaki. Time flows slowly by. This sort of thing is nice too. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. a good run. True running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instinct. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you. I don't know you. Where'd you come from? Sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It looks a bit vintage. How cute. I feel the strange pressure. I can tell it right away. This squirrel isn't just anybody. Uh, I'm from St. Vigilations. I'm sat for one and got lost. You ran all the way from here? You must be good. It's about a two-hour drive from here. What? I guess that's where my legs are. I wonder if I'll be able to run home. Hmm. I like the cut of your chin. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. Intimidating sparrow. Jester's interscooter. 
It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Huh, thank you. Thank you, Master Ray. Most you got awesome. Nice so talk of you. Call me Asami. Huh, well, thank you, Asami. Very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of our lives. It seems strange to a little girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's a far off look in her eyes. I sure. You'll know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine. But I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at Azumi's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. <laughs> It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job, since I have the opportunity. I... No thank you. I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures to go to work. Slacking off and having fun is more the high schooler thing to do. Today's the local summer festival. I think I will go with somebody. I I'll invite Nagaki. He he needs to get out more. But I don't know his address or phone number. I'd go look in the library if the school weren't already closed. Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. I'd like to learn more about him, though he'd probably never tell me anything, hmm, even if I asked. Huh. Going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. Today is my day as receptionist. As usual, there's nobody here. Maybe I should work on the newspaper. Nagaki? Yes. Do you have a minute? What is it? Want to write a book review? I'm working on the library newspaper, and there's a corner open, so so I thought... Can't you write one yourself? I'm always writing them. We never get submissions, so the book reviews are just turning into our personal soapbox. Perhaps it would be better to remove them from the paper. My thoughts exactly. I'd like to see how you'd write one, though. It doesn't have to be very long, either. Well, I'll write one later. Leave the paper there. Yeah, thank you. I think that's everything for the September issue. Hey. Ah! 
I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late! Oh, hello, Tosaka. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I overslept. Overslept? Ah, oh, my homework! I forgot to bring my homework! Aren't you getting a bit ahead of yourself, Tosaka? Huh? What's the number in the top left hand corners? Oh! Just a bit early. Ah. Uh, oh! Since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Tosaka? A hand? I was just about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study... I do want to study. The library should be open now. I think I'll go study. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not sure I prepared enough for my tests. I'd like to study if, that, if that's alright. Of course, work hard, okay? There are already a number of students working in the library. Looks like mostly third years? They've probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. Will I be this frantic next time? Next time, I wonder. Nagaki is here too. Leaning against a bookshelf in a far corner. Nagaki! Miss Tosaka, did you need something? Why, why are you over here? There are plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. You don't like being near other birds? Is, is that it? He nods. They'll, they'll just... They'll just ignore me anyway. Whether or not I go near. Nagaki, are you being... He falls silent. If there's something wrong, I need to help. Who would be bullying Nagaki? He's such a calm and peaceful person. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Okasan's always having fun. Yep, yep. Oh, that's this fun. When summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Focus, sir, focus! Is that student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2 2. Not a name I recognize. Should I go to find their classroom? They might have already gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir. Sir! Hello, Kyoko. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2 2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Kyoko. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing. You, you did just find this today, right, Tosaka? 
Yes, in the corridor just outside. Stude has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So, is the card line go all summer? No birdie? Noticed it? It's awfully clean though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Tasaka. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Ten. I'd hope for something a little more interesting. Elective. But this is dull. Oh, Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So, is this easy for you, Sakuya? Wow! Are you trying to carry me over with me? It looks happy, though. Wisdom increased by five. Every bird is growing themselves new outfits. Good morning, everyone. Sir, can we clean up a little before homeroom? Clean in the morning? This atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? Goo! That wretched manga. Can't you even fulfill the duty given to you? Come on, arguing won't solve anything. It'll be easy if we all pitch in. And so, we swap the room down before homeroom. This is a lot of feathers. Not enough for a futon, but I bet we can make a nice pillow. Certainly is more than usual. Did they come in the window, perhaps? What? Uh, did you did you smell some chlorine on yourself? Chlorine? You don't use that kind of detergent. But uh, you really smell like it. Oh, that would be the bleach. Bleach? Sir. Are you one of those degenerates who bathes with bleach powder? No, no. I got dozed off and got stuck in the washing machine last night. That's all. That's dangerous! Sir, please be careful. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll... I guess there wasn't any way he was going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. Today's the school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I am not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I have nothing to do, so I guess I'll look around. Hmm, I wonder if Nagaki is in the library today. I think I'll buy something and hang out with him. Yeah, door's open. Nagaki? Close it, please. I knew you'd be here. The door, it's loud outside. Oh, sorry. You're staying in here? Even today? It's almost like this is where you live. 
Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. You're kind of like a friendly ghost, or something. It's reassuring to know you're here. Anyway, I brought you something. You're planning to stay here all day, right? What did... Cookies? Yep, the bird watching club was selling bird-shaped cookies. Aren't they cute? Have some. Hmm. Thanks. Hearing him thank me makes me feel really happy. Even if it was in a whisper. He even looks a little happier than usual. There's lots of other stuff too. The third years are doing a play, a one class put together, a god to your haunted house. I was thinking of looking around a little more. Nakaki, want to come with me? No. Oh no, he looks angry. Uh, uh, no, no thank you. Go ahead if you want. Well, alright. Sorry, I didn't mean to try to drag you out of here. I think he might actually live in here. Now that I think about it, I've never seen him anywhere else. Perhaps he comes straight here as soon as he gets to school. Midterms are right around the corner. Ah, I got too excited for the festival and didn't study. I'll have to study it. Oh, where's my history textbook? It's not on my desk. Oh, I was reading it in the library during lunch. So maybe it's still there. I'll go look. Sir, welcome back to Saka. Where are you going? I think I left something in the library. Do you know if the door is still open? Hmm. Some birdie brought the key to the staff room a few minutes ago, so I think it's locked now. Oh, I'll go there first, then. Thank you, sir. I was sitting over there? Ah, here it is. Yatta! Oh. Some birdies written on the page I left open. The Congress dances, but does not progress. Well, that's funny, but don't write on people's books. Don't leave books lying around with their pages to the four winds. Nagaki! What? Why are you so surprised? I hadn't thought you'd still be here. Why not? The door! The door was locked. Don't tell me they locked you in. That would be terrible. It, no, it was. I, I hadn't realized. Well, if it was an accident, then I guess it's alright. Jeez, you're supposed to make sure there, there's nobody here before you lock the door. Anyway. I need to lock the door again. I should... Hey, hey Nagaki, let's go home. No, no thank you. He didn't even pause to think. Where? Where do you live? I'll, I'll walk you. I'm, I'm fine. Really, don't worry about me. You always get mad when I suggest you go outside. Don't jump. If I could, I... What? Don't worry about it. I'll lock the door. Let's just leave the key there. I was already reading again. I think, I think I'm annoying him. Ah, my grades aren't looking very good. I need to work harder to recover before finals. 
and so I sat studying in the library while one by one the other students file out to go home. When I look up, I'm alone. Or I'm not. My, how unusual. I think this is the first time you've sat down next to me, Nagaki. I want to talk to you. You're, you're nothing but surprises today. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. No, no, talk away. I, I was shocked when you first came and talked to me, Mr. Osaka. You're the only one who didn't ignore me. No one but you has ever talked to me. That, that's why this is the only place for me. That's terrible! Nagaki, that's awful. Which class are you in? I'll talk to our te- I'm not done talking yet. Sorry. Go on. You think I'm being bullied, right? I thought that too. You're not? No, no. Uh, being bullied might be better than this. <laughs> what? What's that mean? I'm not sure yet, though. When you talk to me, I remember things sometimes. But it's still not enough. I don't understand. What do you mean? Mr. Saka, I think I, I'm... Saka, you're here late. Sir? The school's already starting to close for the night. It's good to study, but working too hard on your own can, for too long can backfire. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? On my own? Sir, what are you talking about? I'm not... Huh? Nagaki's gone. He was here just a moment ago. Where'd he go? Did he leap home the window and go home ninja style? We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams this whole semester, it's been nothing but tests. Saka, sir, you ranked top of the year this time. Well done. How oh, what? She beat you by two points, Shiragane. Oh well. <sighs> Saki is glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work paid off. Yatta! Closing time already? I don't really have any reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Oh no, it's snowing. It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard, I would be risking my life. You're still here. Nagaki! Look under his arm, same as always. I do wonder about last time. But if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. For now, I won't bring it up. I was about to go home, but... Snow? Hmm. I guess I'll have to wait until it stops. Makes a noise of agreement. And sits down next to me with his book. He's been a little distant lately. But maybe he's warming up to me in his own way. What are you reading? 
Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Please keep quiet in the library. Sorry. I completely forgot. I guess this makes it a white Christmas. More like a whiteout Christmas, if you ask me. Looks like you're almost finished. Yep, I just got to the part where Tiny Tim dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. Yeah, that sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it? Even though you work here? I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff has never been... Tim is a boy born weak who dies young. The protagonist, Scrooge, sees that it will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic, but this sounds kind of science fiction-y. I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It would be nice being able to avoid getting into trouble. I wouldn't like it. No? The future is what it is. It is what it is. And that's all there is to it. And so... We enjoyed the present point in time along which we flowed. This is a nice way to spend Christmas, I think. The sun! Its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it in incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I will go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here already. It must be nice to have some warm winter plumage. Maybe I could borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet go home. Kyoto. Happy New Year. Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Kyoto? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Like one for. Hmm. One for fulfillment in school, please. Here you go. Thanks, Ryuta. Are you here all day today? Yep. First day is always busy. Oh, well, I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but. Sorry, Hyoko some other time. Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building, over there. Okay. Thanks. See you, Ryuta. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Tasaka. Happy New Year. Did you get fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately. I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, what should I take? I take, uh, this one. Works blessing. Oh, good. You got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Tosaka. Thank you, sir. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you've 
all had good vacations. I hibernated. Oh, what a shocker. Sir, you're still hibernating. Sir, wake up. Oh. Uh, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh! Tomorrow's Legumentines. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like. But apparently it's used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Here for beans. Yes. Is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is to bend towards those bean medleys for racers, but they're a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll go buy... Take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today's the day. Preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunburn. Almost empty, as always. And unsurprisingly, the heating doesn't work well here. So the winter cold will stick away, stick around well through February. The pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honor of being one of the school's least popular places in winter. The few students here huddled around the heater, so Nagaki should be... Ah, there you are, Nagaki sitting in a frigid corner, far from the meager effects of the heater, as expected. Please be quiet in the library. Oh, I, sorry, I bungled that. So Nagaki says, please be quiet in the library. Oh, can you somehow forgive my dreadful sin? It's cold here. Are you okay, Nagaki? I'm fine. Don't mind me, Miss Tosaka. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. No, I'm fine. My house has no heater either. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's Legumentines, you know? Here. For me? Yeah, you're supposed to give beans to the most important bird in your life today. Do you want them? Yes. Thank you. He wordlessly accepts the beans and stares at the package as if he doesn't know what to do with it. Maybe he's never gotten the Mugumentine's beans before. I hope he likes them.